no fat versus semen retention. Hello world, Sun was so here, ready to shine some light. How you feeling today? How you breathing today? Today's topic is on no fat and semen retention. Um, I didn't put verses like there was a battle between them because they're actually both beneficial. They both play a really big part in humanity's personal development. And it's a beautiful thing. But there are differences and a lot of it pertains to where they both originated from. So let's talk about it. No fat. No fat was a concept that I believe was created on Reddit. And there was a community there that challenged people to abstain from pornography. And basically, um, just whacking off. That's what fat means. I didn't even know what fat meant um, at the time because my journey started from the concept of semen retention but fap the word fap i don't even know what that is you know i live in new york city i don't i don't think people say fap over here i don't know but i don't even know what it was i did see like the topic but i never really looked into it or or whatever so it originated on reddit and yeah it was a challenge and you know, people tried out the challenge. They abstained from sex. Um, they stayed away from porn. And there was a lot of great feedback. And there was a whole bunch of scientific research involved that, that showed the detrimental effects of pornography and the use of pornogra pornography. So that was a big deal. Um, the whole concept spread like wildfire and you know it's it's all over now like it's it's really getting out there especially in this tech technology world it's, you know we have these little smartphones we have YouTube we have the internet it's it's getting really good um, it originated from the West so this was a Western concept of holding your seed. Now, where I learned it from, where I learned that semen retention was actually from Eastern culture. So the Eastern philosophy, um, Buddhism, Hinduism, I learned it from Taoism. There's a teacher named Montek Chia and I read one of his books. One of his books is called The Multi-Orgasmic Man. I'm going to leave a link in the description below. Um, this was basically talking about the process of retaining your sexual energy. So I believe that was the difference between both of them, you know. The, the thing with no fat was geared towards more of the physical effects, the physical benefits, and semen retention in the Eastern culture was more pertained to the energetic effects. So what I learned was basically that, you know, sexual energy or it, it, it's basically the thing that that creates whole worlds that that creates civilization like we're all you're looking at me right now because of sex you know and that's a powerful thing so sex itself is actually sacred it's it's something very powerful and because of 
the 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 production of porn and 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 the overuse of 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 sex the way we have sex um actually has been misused in a way that actually depletes us from our energy from the energy that we that we already have within ourselves so a lot of our behavior is deprived from the way we convey ourselves in a sexual manner. That's a big deal for me because, you know, growing up, I was exposed to porn and I never really had that talk with my parents, you know, about, you know, sex and, and you know, what this, what it really is, you know? So I learned from my peers, I learned from people my age around me, and that's where I got my information from, and I misused it. I misused it, and I was at a disadvantage energetically, um, socially, mentally, emotionally, because of the overuse of pornography and just sex in general. Just having sex all the time. Um, now, in Eastern philosophy, um, in Taoism, there's 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 two concepts of which you which you have obtained pleasure is ejaculating and orgasms, and the thing is that there's actually a huge difference. When you ejaculate, that's when that's when the sperm spills out. That fluid, that is ejaculation. The orgasm is actually the sensation itself. Um, when you begin to separate ejaculation from orgasm, then you're able to actually have sex and still hold on to your seed. And this was actually really big for me because I couldn't grasp the idea of, at the beginning, I couldn't grasp the idea of having sex and not coming or, or ejaculating. I just couldn't, I just couldn't understand that. And the idea is that what you do, what the Taoists do is circulating your sexual energy and we can refer to as that heat, the, the, the hot sensation you feel down there when you're getting ready to, to come or ejaculate is to circulate it up the channels and store it in your lower dentian. That's your, that's your belly button. It's like a storage, you say. That's, that's how I learned it. But, um, Yeah, those are just two, those, just a little bit of information on the differences. And um, I think what's cool is that like both concepts, um, you know, somebody might understand it one way than the other and vice versa. So I'm glad that, you know, Western culture has adopted the idea of NoFap. They don't talk much about um, circulating the energy, but just holding on to your seed in general is like such a big deal. Um, so for whoever is um, see it that way, like that's an amazing thing, but the link in the description, I'm definitely gonna um, share with you guys if you wanna look more into the Taoist way of semen retention. It, ben it benefited me so much that, like, <laughs> like, seriously, there's no going back. I can have sex now, and I don't have to ejaculate. I don't have to come. 
because I see the contrast of when I do and when I don't, like how I feel after. It's, it's, there's a huge difference. But yeah, that's about it. More coming soon. We have a lot more topics on this, a lot more questions that that may need to get answered. So, we'll talk again. Stay bright. <laughs>